you have a thousand other concerns and cares as a parent. Um, to add food into that, it's like, why does it have to be this way? A single mother of four, with the youngest being five months, Gracie constantly travels to get groceries for her kids. She lives in Southeast DC Ward 8, where the options for grocery stores are limited. They are in what is considered a food desert. Checkout itself can be 30 minutes, easy. Then you factor in like children. So to walk straight into boxes of chips and things of soda, and it's, it's rough. DC statistics show racial disparities in their food deserts. Ward seven and eight have the largest black population experiencing food deserts at disproportionate rates. Since COVID-19, food insecurity in Southeast had a 5% increase, causing more issues than less access to perishable goods. Overprocessed foods and starches are not the best things to present to children with health concerns, um, but sometimes that's all you can get. When grocery stores are low on produce, Gracie goes to one of DC's food banks, Martha's Table. And if we could reach probably more people, that'd be great. If more people knew about the market, because a lot of people to this, I've been here a year and people are just still finding out. So I'm in Southeast DC and I decided to stop at one of the three only grocery stores in Ward 7 and 8. And keep in mind that both of those wards make up over 150,000 residents in total. Despite the circumstances, Gracie is educating herself and the community as well as providing healthier choices for her kids. I would always encourage people just to do your research. Um, if there's anything that you're looking for, don't hesitate to ask anybody. With News Vision, I'm Makai Washington.